Hello, beautiful artist. It's me, Miss Yubo. I miss you so much, my little angel babies. Today, we're going to learn how to draw another one of my favorite animals, a crab. Because we're stuck at home and we don't get to go to school. And sometimes that makes me feel a little bit quabby. So tune in. I'm so happy you're here with me. And we're going to do step by step how to draw a crab. So a crab is an animal that lives in the ocean and it's called a crustacean. A crustacean is a type of animal that has an exoskeleton. That means they wear their skeleton on the outside of their body instead of the inside of their body. Crabs are all different just like us. Something really neat about them though is they walk sideways and they wave their pinchers up to communicate. They also use their pinchers to collect food. Steps. As they make their way over sand and rocks, each picks out food with a claw specialized for the task. Ghost crabs filter the sand for particles of plants and animals. The red rock crab and fiddler crab feed on algae, the smaller claw being the right size for the job. It seems a straightforward way to get food. All right, Kipsters, like I said, we are going to draw a crab. For this activity, you can, you need paper and you can use a pencil, a pen, a marker, a crayon, a quill, whatever you got. And just like our other video, if you need to see something again, you can stop the video and rewind to see it again. So like I said, today we are going to draw some crabs. And like we learned, there are many, many different types of crabs. This is not the only way to draw a crab. This is just one way to draw a crab. If you want to draw one of the crabs that you see in my YouTube video, you can rewind it and use your eyes and look at it and draw that crab. Here's how we're going to start. We're going to start by making a rainbow line for the crab's body, then kind of a straight curved line for the bottom of their body and you can connect it. We saw that crabs move around with their arms up and we also learned that they have something called an exoskeleton. That's when their skeleton is on the outside of their body. So here's how we're gonna draw that. So I'm gonna draw one rectangle on one side, another thick rectangle on the other side. Then for the exoskeleton, I'm gonna draw a skinnier rectangle on both sides. And this is so that their arms can move around. And then I'm gonna draw their pinchers. Remember their pinchers are used to help them get food or for self-defense. And some crabs have one really big pincher and one really small one. So that's what we're gonna draw. So I'm gonna first draw a letter C and I'm gonna draw a zigzag line almost all the way to the bottom. Then on the other side, I'm gonna draw a backwards letter C, and I'm gonna draw a zigzag line almost to the bottom, and then I can draw a little line to make the meat for our pincher. Then I'm gonna draw the smaller pincher on this side. I'll start by making a letter C. I'm making a zigzag line almost to the bottom. Then I'll make a backwards letter C, make zigzag lines going to the bottom. Then we have to make our crab's eyes. And like we saw from the videos and from the pictures, their eyeballs are not on their body. Their eyeballs kind of stick up and they do that so they can see all the way around. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw two rectangles sticking up like this. And then we can draw two circles. Now what I think is really cool about crabs is they're inside their eyeball, instead of a circle, it's a rectangle. So you can draw a rectangle inside. And we can give them a little smile because hopefully they're not feeling too crabby. Now we know 
that a crab has more than two legs. So we're gonna draw some legs using zigzag lines. I'm gonna make one zigzag, then a second one and connect it at the bottom. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, except my zigzag will go the other way. I connected it at the bottom. I need to do this one, two, three, four more times. So I'm gonna make a zigzag with two lines, connect at the bottom. Make a zigzag, connect at the bottom. Boom. Then you can add some little decorations. I noticed on the crabs, some of the crabs have a colored claw on half of it. So I'm gonna draw a line halfway through the claw. I'm going to color it in. I'm gonna do it on both claws. I also want the bottom of the feet to be decorated so I can color them in. You don't have to use the same color. You can use a totally different color if you want. You can finish your drawing just like this. You can add some more little details if you want. To show the crab's cool skeleton. You can even draw more crabs like this in the background. If you want, you can also add a little beach because we know that crabs live in the ocean. You can add a sun or a moon. You can add some more waves using wavy lines. I can't wait to see your crabs. When you're done drawing your crab, post it on Instagram using the hashtag at Kip, K-A-C-P. And I cannot wait to see your crabs and I really hope that you guys are not feeling too crabby today. Love you and I miss you. Happy crab making.